Good afternoon, boys and girls. Today we're going to talk about George Washington Carver, and we are going to <clears throat> discuss some of his character traits. Some of our vocabulary for the lesson, some of it you may already heard when we've done previous um, lessons, and some of them are new words. The first word is botanist. A botanist is a person who studies plants. We know that George Washington Carver did study plants. He even wrote about plants. So we can say that he was a botanist or he studied botany. The next word is discrimination. Discrimination is the unfair treatment of a person or a group of people based on something about that person. So we know that when we talked about Ruby Bridges, that she faced discrimination because of her skin color when she was trying to go to school each morning. Our next vocabulary word is inventor. This is also a word that we've heard before when we talked about Ben Franklin. We know an inventor is a person who creates, designs, or builds new things to make things better or to make things easier. And our last word is segregation. We've also talked about segregation, talking about Ruby Bridges. It's keeping people separate based on their skin color. All right, guys, George Washington Carver was an African-American inventor, writer, educator, and botanist. He is best known for his discoveries with peanuts. He was born in Missouri in 1864. This is another picture of Missouri, the state. Now here is a picture of the United States. Here is Missouri, where George Washington Carver was born. This is Mississippi. Remember, this is where Ruby Bridges was born. And guys, Georgia, this is where we live. All of these states are considered the Southern United States. And we know the Southern United States was not a place where people were treated equally. We know that George Washington Carver is best known for being an inventor. An inventor is someone who sees a problem, creates something new to solve the problem, or they can make things easier. We know Ben Franklin invented that long arm, that grabber, to help him grab things out of reach. So an inventor is someone who creates things to solve problems. George was also an author. He wrote down information about crops and soil. Farmers use the information to help them produce better crops. Crops are their plants. So when the crops are better, that means more people are buying them. So they get more money. So George Washington Carver helped farmers make more money. I bet the farmers loved him for that. Now we're going to talk about a few character traits. We've talked about character traits before. We know those are the things about you. And when we talk about positive character traits, those are the good things, the good qualities about you. So one thing that George Washington Carver had was determination. Determination is continuing or trying to do something that it's hard. When you learn to ride your bike, you had to have determination to keep trying. If you fall off, you have to get back up and keep trying. Even if you scraped your knee, we know it's difficult, but you keep trying. You don't want to give up. When was a time when you've shown determination? We know that George showed determination when he was trying to, le trying to learn. Because schools were segregated, there was no school around him that he could go to. But he was determined. He taught himself how to read and write. Then he taught others. When he was 13... He moved to Kansas all the way from Missouri. He moved to Kansas. That's a whole new state, guys. So he could go to a school that allowed black students. He was very, very smart. He applied to a college in Kansas and was accepted because of his good grades. So not only did he finish high school, but he was going to college. He went to a college in Kansas. Well, he didn't go. They didn't let him in because they didn't want any black students there. Once again, he was being discriminated against, being treated unfairly. But 
George had perseverance, not giving up, kind of like determination, but we talked about perseverance many, many times. Right now, guys, we have to show perseverance at home. We have to keep working, keep learning, even though it's hard and even though we're going through some pretty hard times right now. It's very important that you keep trying, keep making your brains fat. So George showed perseverance when he was doing his experiments. He was working with plants, he was talking about plants, and then he was even showing other about plants, making other people learn. Next character trait, George believed in equality. He showed equality. He, taught, um, he treated people fairly. He treated people the same he treated black people the same as white people, light-skinned people, dark-skinned people. He wanted all people to be treated the same. <clears throat> so all through school, George was treated unfairly. Even when he was in college, he still had to face people being unfair, being discriminated against, and not being treated equal. As an adult, people even laughed at George, made fun of George when he did speeches. But he did not get discouraged. He had perseverance and he kept trying and he talked to Congress. That's part of our government. And they listened to him and they passed a law that would help peanut farmers. He had to be courageous. He, he had courage. He was brave doing something, even though it's hard, even though he's scared, he still had courage. He became the first black student at a, a college in Iowa. Again, that's another state. He, be he became known as a brilliant botanist. He was so smart that a teacher persuaded him to stay on for his master's degree. So a master's degree is going to school even more when you don't even have to, but you want to keep learning. Intelligence. He showed intelligence. Intelligence is smart. He was very, very smart. He was able to learn and understand things, even when his things that he were going through were hard. He bought, he brought fame. Think of fame as being famous to the Tuskegee Institute because of his knowledge and his understanding of crops and soil. So this is your activity. There are some character traits down here at the bottom. You have to drag the character traits up to the boxes that describe George. Some of the words do not describe George. Make sure that you are paying attention to the word. I'm going to read them for you. We have determined, brave, dishonest, responsible, fair, lazy, smart, perseverance. There are six character traits that describe George. Drag them up to the box. Also, pick one character trait to describe George. Write sentences or type sentences to tell me why you think that. Remember, you always have to support your um, opinion with a reason. All right, boys and girls, I hope you enjoyed the lesson. I am going to post the Google Slides presentation so that you could go in and complete the assignments.